I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. We finally got the 100 subscribers milestone. Yeah! So I thought it would be a good idea to celebrate by showing you all how to generate a 100,000 volt arc. That's right. 100,000 volts for 100 subscribers. And for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please do. It really helps the channel. Anyways, let's get into this. This video will be about how to build a Marx generator circuit capable of producing 100,000 volts DC, in short pulses, of course. In fact, the Marx generator circuit is basically an electrical pulse generator. A quick search on the internet will explain the basic working principle of the circuit, and it's to charge multiple stages of capacitors in parallel, then discharge them in series. In order to discharge these capacitor stages in series, the Marx generator utilizes spark gaps. These spark gaps are basically high voltage switches. A spark gap is just two electrodes separated by dielectric gas, or air in this case. Depending on the dielectric breakdown strength of the material, where an insulator, like air, becomes a conductor, it is possible to distance the spark gaps to discharge at a desired voltage. The desired voltage for the spark gaps to break down will depend on the expected output of your circuit. For this example, we are targeting 100,000 volts. Since our target is 100,000 volts, we also need to take into consideration our source to charge this circuit. In this example, I will be using a previously built circuit from my 60,000 volt bipolar full wave high voltage generator Cockoff Walton video as my source. This should provide enough power to charge 10 stages of capacitors at 10,000 volts. To get our spark gaps to break down at 10,000 volts, we also need to know that certain electrode geometries produce stronger, more concentrated electric fields. For example, a point will produce the most concentrated electric field compared to a flat surface or spherical surface. For this circuit, we will be using spherical electrodes to get a more predictable breakdown or spark distance of 30,000 volts per centimeter. With all of that being said, I spaced my ninth spark gap at about 0.5 centimeters, which should allow my 10 capacitor stages to charge to 10,000 volts. The other eight spark gaps started at one centimeter and decreased linearly to the 0.5 centimeter spark gap. In reality, I had to make minor adjustments to distance them correctly. This circuit, as you can see here, is actually a very simple circuit. It consists of capacitors and resistors. For this circuit, every resistor in the Marx generator is 47,000 ohms at 2 watts. And every capacitor is going to be 2 20,000 volt 1 nanofarad capacitors in series. This becomes equi equivalent to 40 kV at 0.5 nanofarads. And then every spark gap uses a quarter inch steel ball bearing soldered to the connection points. Step 1 solder two 20,000 volt 1 nanofarad capacitors in series and do this 10 times for all 10 of your stages. This will give you your 40,000 volt half nanofarad capacitors. Step two, solder two 40,000 ohm resistors per stage.
Step 3. Cut PVC tube to length. Step 4. Drill holes for spark gap connections. Step 5. Cut PVC tube in half down the length of it. Step 6. Solder wires for spark gap connections. Step 7. Run these wires through the drilled holes of the PVC pipe. Step 8. Put other half of PVC tube back in place. Step 6. Use tape to secure the two halves of the PVC pipe. Step 10. Use hot glue to fill any cracks or spark gap holes to keep epoxy from leaking out. Step 11. Fill the tube with epoxy and wait to cure. For those of you who are skeptical, here's a picture of the battery that's powering the circuit. It's a tiny little lithium ion battery that's only 3.7 volts. And I'm somehow able to generate 100,000 volts with this. Amazing. As you can see here, this thing is shooting out 10 centimeter sparks. That is technically 100,000 volts because for pointed surfaces, the electrical breakdown strength of air is 10,000 volts per centimeter. Now these next few steps are kind of unnecessary, but I thought it would be cool to like build the Marx generator in the shape of a gun. So what you'll see here is just me putting the enclosure together for the voltage multiplier circuit from my power source. And then soldering a momentary push button as a trigger. <laughs> 